Good day and welcome to Health Tech Weekly, the show on technology that helps create a healthier you. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. Before we get into this week's health tech item, make sure you head over to our site at htweekly.com for links to everything we cover in this episode and all of the other information like contact information and a whole lot more. You'll find all of that over there at htweekly.com. This week on Health Tech Weekly, I bring you another special segment from the American Association of Critical Care Nurses Conference, NTI 2013. I got the chance to stop by the GE booth there to learn more about the technologies associated with patient monitoring and how they are creating new technologies that send that information right to your doctor's smartphone or tablet. Check it out. <clears throat> Hi, Jamie Davis from The Nursing Show here again with another segment at NTI 2013. We're here in the American Association of Critical Care Nurses Conference in Boston. I'm in the GE booth, and we know GE has a lot of products that involve our homes, but they're also heavily involved in healthcare, as all of you know. And I'm here with Ellen Street from Life Care Solutions. Ellen, GE is really working hard to integrate our, our healthcare monitoring in many different ways, including on our iPods and iPads and iPhones. Yep, absolutely, Jamie. Um, you know, as reference, I actually lead the commercial sales and marketing teams for our monitoring business within Life Care Solutions, which is really focused on the devices and data and sensors closest to the patient, and how do we capture that data and make it mobile to enable efficient care by clinicians with the right information to expedite the decision making for the patients and getting them where they need to be within the hospital environment based upon that care information. So this is a tool that a nurse can use at the bedside, but she can also use it as a communication tool with other members of the healthcare team. Yep, absolutely. There's a variety of different mobility offerings that are available, and as healthcare systems combine and are looking more across the continuum of care, they need to be able to communicate both within the hospital for the staff directly responsible for that patient, but also to clinicians that may be outside the walls of the traditional hospital space. And so we have a variety of offerings in this area, from an alarm management system that can tie in and pull staffing needs from you know, a nurse call system, et cetera, that helps get information to the right patient, but also utilizing your iPhone. You know, the iOS uh, application today allows you to really combine information from a variety of data points into a very simple interface for the clinician. So whether they're trying to look at monitoring waveforms or cardiology data, they're able to efficiently view and actually take action on some of that data in terms of you know, making a care decision of you know, calling and saying, you know, hey, I need this person to go to the cath lab, as an example, based on what's going on with the EKG. So you can transmit a 12-lead EKG, you can get all that information to uh, the nurse, to the physician, and, and they can make a, a care decision and, and get that patient in the right place. Absolutely. So uh, you're really talking about making our hospital's equipment more interoperable and bringing it together in, into a, a unified whole so that everything's talking to everything else. Absolutely. We are pulling disparate data streams together to get a much more holistic view of what is going on with that patient. Even at the bedside monitors today, you can pull up radiology images, you can pull up lab data, additional information that helps you decide holistically, here's where I need to take action. Well, Ellen, uh, is there anything that you're really excited about on the horizon that's going to continue to step this forward, uh, bring even more of this type of interoperability to, to the patient bedside? Yeah, absolutely. As we continue to move forward, Healthcare systems are really looking at how do I get the right information to the right caregiver. The systems are getting much smarter from an IT perspective to support that data connectivity. And technology is one part of it, but it's really the people and process that goes with it. And so I'm really excited about the focus healthcare systems now have on the workflow surrounding the patient. Mobility applications are a part of that, alarm management, 
some offerings are part of that, the bedside technology and parameters are a part of that, and it's all coming together to really make a difference in the care of that patient going forward. It's exciting. It is exciting. And Ellen, I want to thank you for taking a moment to sit down with me and chat about this. Appreciate it. Thank you. And I want to thank all of you for checking this out. Stay tuned. We're going to be back with more from GE on this very topic. Hi, I'm back here in the GE booth. I'm here with Dr. David Barish. He's an ER physician here in Massachusetts. And uh, David, we talking a little bit before with Ellen about the interoperability and the, the remote monitoring capabilities of having uh, iOS capable devices talking to your patient care record and your devices, uh, your heart monitors and things like that. Uh, what does this mean to you as, an, as a physician in caring for your patients? Well, it's really, really important to have interoperability and to have mobility with data. What we're seeing now is what I would call the dislocation of care. Patients are mobile, care providers are mobile, and we need to be able to monitor the patients wherever we are and at the same time provide that data to the clinicians wherever they are. And so you have to have the convergence of data into a database that then provides that information to the clinician in a usable format that's very easy to use, very easy to see, very easy to interpret where they are whenever they want to look at that data. What is one of the biggest challenges you see uh, facing us that this is solving for us? Well, I think there are a lot of challenges we're facing in healthcare now, obviously. One of the big challenges I see is in the care provider population. We're getting older as care providers, the physicians are getting older, the nurses are getting older, and we're challenged with a higher acuity patient, more volume of patients, and more data that we have to manage. So we have to have tools that allow us to take that data, analyze it, and present it in a usable way to a broad variety of care providers, including, as I said, those providers that are getting older and actually working more and more part-time. So th because they're working more and more part-time, they need to have devices that are intuitive. And, and certainly uh, the devices themselves, like iPads and iPhones and things like that, are very intuitive to use, but the interface has to be such that uh, it can be used effectively or it's not worth anything. That's exactly right, and we have to use visualization. As much as I love the monitors that we have and other companies have right now that show waveforms and data, we have to be much more visually oriented and move much towards what a weather map might look like right now, where you can actually predict, not look at not where the patient is right now, but predict where they're going and be able to react to that projection or forecast of where the patient's headed really give us uh, that trending aspect of the patient care process uh, where we've got some real predictive and adaptive algorithm looking at the patients and backing us up. Exactly right. It has to be predictive. If you think about weather mapping and where that is and how we're able to predict hurricanes, we should be able to predict the same things in clinical care right now using uh, big data and analytics. Well, David, is there anything you'd like to share with the, the critical care nurses and other clinicians watching this uh, about uh, where you see uh, the next five years heading with uh, creative care for our patients? Creative care with our patients? I, I think I think we're gonna we're sort of on the verge of a tremendous revolution in terms of the data we can provide and the way we can present that data to clinicians. We're gonna do it visually, we're gonna do it in ways that are easy to interpret, we're gonna take more data than we ever could before and make sense out of it, and as I said, we're gonna be able to predict where the patients are heading. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the care that the nurses can provide to their patients much, much better than it ever was before. It's gonna be safer for the patients, the outcomes are gonna be better, and it's gonna be easier and probably more fun for for the nurses to be able to provide care to their patients. Well, David, thank you very much for joining me here on The Nursing Show and sharing some of the innovations that GEs bring into the picture. You're very welcome. Glad to be here. And I want to thank all of you. Remember, head over to nursingshow.com to find all of the content from NTI 2013. And remember to stay safe and stay tuned to The Nursing Show. Take care. That'll wrap up this episode of Health Tech Weekly. Make sure you follow up on all of the information over at our website, htweekly.com, for more information on this and all of our episodes. There are additional resource links there as well, links to trusted resources for living a healthier lifestyle, and a whole lot more, so check it out when you get a chance. If you have a comment on this week's episode, you can get back in touch with me either over at htweekly.com in the comment links for each article, or better yet, shoot me an email. Send those emails into podmedic at mac.com. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the Podmedic. I'll be back soon with more health information for you. In the meantime, remember that improving your health takes small, simple steps that over time all add up to a healthier you. Why don't you take a healthier step today?